Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Hi. So today I'm going to share with you on how to make your lessons with your students more interactive using Think Link. So first thing first, we need to go to the Think Link website. So we have to type in thinklink.com. So what is Think Link? Thinglink enables you to create unique experiences with interactive images, videos, and they even have 360 degrees medias for you to use. For example, here right in front of you, there is a bird, right? So if you place your mouse over the three buttons, the love buttons, the location buttons, and the music buttons, interactive medias will come out. For example, I put my cursor on the music buttons then what will come out the, the sound of the hummingbird will come out so these are the examples of what thing link can do to your plain images and make it more interesting for your students okay so now let us dive in thinglink.com so Let's have a look at the pricing first. So we need to figure out on what intention we are using this thing link. So basically now we are using it as a teacher. So we need to click on the classroom learning. So they have plans for teachers, schools and district. The most popular premium for teachers for classroom starts at $35 per year. But you can also use this for free but the features are limited but it's okay as a beginner we can use it for free first you can click on the solution buttons and go to classroom learning this will lead you to the theme link for teachers and school web page where we can create visual experiences for student-centered learning right in the middle of it you can see a blue button you have to click on that button and we, you will need to sign up an account. So, I think I do not need to teach you how to sign up. It's a regular signing up thingy where you need to put your uh, institution, your MK's name, your role as an educator, and such. I have my, already have um, signed up my own account, so what I need to do is just signing in. Give me a couple of seconds. I'm going to sign in. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to log into my account. Okay, now let us see what Thingling has to offer us. Okay, um, my media basically for you uh, for you to key all your work. What about the explore buttons? Let us see. Explore buttons will lead you to all the examples of ThinkLink images and medias created by other users. For example, here you can see lots of images and medias that will that can help you as your references. Let me get you one example. For example, because I'm more on sciences, so I will click on this button uh, picture here. So this will lead me to this image. I can use this image as example for me. You see, we have lots of interactive buttons here: the human eye, the nose, the ear, the larynx, the blood vessels. So this will make your plain image very interactive for your students and very interesting too. So you can have a look at all other examples as well. See, depends on your preference. You have mind maps, you have places to go, you have earth layers and such okay since today i'm going to show you 
how to create a plain image okay you have lots of uh, you have to click on the create buttons you have image video we are image and 360 degree video i'm going to show you only on how to create interactive image so since uh, i'm not going to show you on another three examples i'm going to show you the samples given by thingling okay so now let us click on interactive 360 degree videos so the examples okay now let's play the video see even during this mco period you can still go on a cruise you can imagine yourself okay. stop daydreaming um see this is an interactive 360 degree video you can move your video up and down left and right okay okay now you can see three interactive buttons one on showing youtube signs one image and one information buttons so these are the examples of what Tingling can do if you click on the youtube buttons it will lead you to the videos of lake saima of this lake i guess i presume i assume um and this interactive buttons will lead you to the images with descriptions and these interactive information buttons will um, describe more on whatever images you wanted to describe so these are the examples so now let us go back to the main page okay now let's create our own interactive image Click on the create buttons, upload image from your files, choose whatever image you wanted to. For example, I'm choosing this laptop. Open it. Okay. So, see? A black dog staring at you right in front of your face. So, what you want to do now? You see? An add back on your left hand side. You just click on a button click on a button okay this will come out you can add text in media add text label and add content from website so it is up to your own preference for example here i wanted to uh, for example um the title here cute dog Okay, this then put in description the dog black for this is just an example. The black dog is cute. And you can it image your videos. You can get it from your files, you can upload audio, you can put your RL and such. And you can change, you can even, let's say, let's say, uh, this is a um, video. So I can change the icon to YouTube, for example. And I wanted to put a video. So this is how this thing works. And that. Uh, hmm. Actually, I already pre-made one example for you how are I plan to do to my students okay now I have one black dog staring right onto my face so what I intend to do with this dog is I created a case study for my students but I make it I make this very interactive and interesting for example here i wanted this dog to be my case study so i put a question button here as a client complaint so when my student click on it the owner complaint will come out as owner complaint dog is easily tired coughing and having exercise intolerance so the students need to gather all the information related to this complaint to come out with the diagnosis for example so when a student push 
and click on the YouTube CG video, we will lead them to YouTube link. YouTube link, YouTube of an ECG video, for example. And then, so I actually, um, besides a video, I also put on images and audio. I put an image of a blood senior image from a student, for example, here, animated blood parasite in dogs. But actually, humans too can have blood parasite of different species. So, I also included, um, I, well, the reason why I put it here because this is uh, an audio of the heart sound. So, in real cases, the student need to listen to the heart sound. Therefore, I put on audio of the escalated heart. For example, if I click on it, it will lead you to the heart sound. Therefore, with all the supplemented medias, the videos, the animated image, and the audio will help the students to arrive to the diagnosis by being interactive and not monotonous. So, the last thing I wanted to share with you is the My Students features. Okay, when you click on the My Students, this page will come out. Give me some time. Okay. Um, my students, students of mine, owned by me. And I can add users, delete users, add group, and this is the invitation code. So, um, basically, this is uh, what I wanted to share with you. Um, today, I really hope all of you are benefited from my sharing and before I end my um, session, I wanted to share with you um, a video by Thing Link showing other features that can be used to make your lessons more interesting using Thing Link. Okay, enjoy. Assalamualaikum.